when I met Robert Soul from Reynoldsville. I was very impulsive. Bob was charming, he was out of the Navy. I had never had the freedom of feeling that tingly emotional feeling. And when I met my husband, to be, I just felt alive and I had purpose. He was handsome and um, a lot of fun. Everything was going to be roses. Because I was so romantically involved with Bob, I probably would have gotten married um, instantaneously. But Bob was not a winner. I've said it a hundred times. He, I must have really tormented my parents to be going with somebody that couldn't hold a job, that was nasty mouth, that was um, was just not what my parents had dreamed of me doing. But it was just to me, it was romance. It was fun. We danced. We we went places. I was defying my parents at last. And you know, I, I know that's what it was based on. We went together for two years. Then we didn't get married before then because I didn't dare tell my dad. My parents were very suspicious of it. Bob changed jobs a lot, constantly. He just didn't go along with whatever job he was on. I was a sort of the bad apple of the family. But, you know, there's not much you can do about it. It's going to happen. And uh, Bob had had a job for a year then. And so maybe he didn't look, you know, quite as much of a threat. Part of me knew, but I defied it, that, uh, you know, maybe it wasn't the right choice. My dad did accept marrying us. And, you know, my mother was, she just would ride along, you know, with the crowd. And, I married, well then maybe I can look to doing something somewhere else that will be a mission thing, or maybe he might even change his ways and want to do something with me. But it didn't work that way. I didn't yes, tell it. Didn't. Weren't you? You Every were going to this one. lady's house? I was or not. You, yes, no, you were. I was not. I went to the church. Oh, come on. I have because you go on every night. Every day, you know. Well, the one time he was going to come out looking for me because it was so late. Probably it was a quarter after eight. He should have been in bed by that time. He doesn't trust me. Oh, then, I trust that, you. Then why? You knew I was going to church. You called down there. I was nowhere else but the church. You know, then. <laughs> you were rotten. That, that was the way life was. And it was very hard to adjust. I all of a sudden had a control over me. And, um, and that was marriage. I miss my parents. I think of my parents very much. I love them. And I wish I had done more as they had advised. And as a kid, you almost hate a parent. But I just secretly wish I could be like my dad and my mom. I think of how much my dad and mom did in their lifetime and how little I've done. You always think you have a lot of time, and uh, you don't have. If you love somebody, you always think of them. 
Oh, I don't know how heaven works. I don't know how God works. I just know that I'll always miss them. The greatest joy I ever had in the very beginning was when our first son was born. I didn't become pregnant easily. We went through a lot to do it. When I actually held our son in my arms, it was like, oh. You know, it was just a piece of paradise. Joys have come through my kids. This was a letter that I wrote. <laughs> I wrote it to all my brothers. Oscar, Bob, Dave, and Dick. And I'm sitting in the backyard looking out over all the things that we as kids loved and at times I suppose hated. I wish we were all as close as them. My own family happy and to school and Bob at work. Besides the usual spring concerts, recitals, 4-H, I had 56 of Bob's family here, the 26, and a Cuterville ball game besides. A real busy and fun day. We learned to make good use of nice days. I guess I had better close and get some wash out on the line and some ironing done. Love and God bless your sister and her family, and love to you all. Now, so I don't regret any of those years. It's just that, you know, I wonder where I would have been had I taken the other fork in the road.